It's not this way. Yeah. <coughs> Any lessons to you on this day? Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> so that's temporary things set up to chant in? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yesterday I could have found it if I put my name. I didn't know they put my name in there. <coughs> so our goal today is to focus on what we did for the midterm. And those who haven't done it yet, we'll have to choose a, a different exercise for the midterm. So you don't have to um, worry about sitting here and knowing all the answers for the midterm, which is great. And I have I have printed the ones that <coughs> I told when Bokong, you have to print them, uh, that you emailed. Uh, some of them came out really good, <coughs> and uh, others are handwritten, but still looking okay. Um, but how do we get the names out of these? And some of you did more than what is required, which is great. And uh, so for now, I will have to correct them later. But when we are doing it on the board, we may do only five from the, you know, five as a class. Or maybe we will do the whole thing. Um, and then we will grade, you know, what is the, the most accurate ones. Doesn't have to be specific. We didn't be, we were not specific on which numbers, right? Right. Yeah, so. Well, we what? We went to so six, six through fifteen. Oh, six. Yeah. Oh. Five, 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 five of five ten. Of, uh, five, 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 five of ten. Five of ten. We excluded the first five. Yeah. We did. We did. Okay. Then we don't have to. Yeah. But we will do them here if somebody has done them. Okay. So, um, should I erase the name or how do I do that? I'm not scared. I, I have no shame. Yeah, but you know what you're doing. No. <laughs> no, the gradings will be done by me, so it's okay to have the name, right? Yeah. Yeah. So. Be easier. This goes to some. Uh, okay. <laughs> Too much. Not to Do you want to correct or you don't want to? This is not yours, it is yours, let me know. Because she has trouble with the reading. Oh, I guess there's somebody else who wants to get it all together. But somebody else can help you. I'll give you something with bigger words if I want to talk about it. That's the only one you're going to find. Well, no. Yeah. Yeah, I think all of these. You end up taking the one you did, OK? <laughs> oh, yeah. So if you recognize yours. If you recognize yours. Oh, boy. submit them to me, I will be going through them again for grading. Right? So this so we all have pencils or red pens or what? whatever you want to use. But make clear marks if you are making them. I guess we need to have the book. We need to have the book with Yeah, I'll be I'll have the book open. 
Kali, Atina, Bogi, Marisi. You all see that? of a noun, so it's like agi, agi, ageo. So agi can be singular, so this is also singular. The evil doer, yachina, what's the case? Instrumental. Instrumental. Yeah. If you know that, if you look at the meaning, then you know it is instrumental. It's a yachtic, uh, a stick. By a stick. Singular. So instrumental singular. So you are going back to uh, your previous lesson. Somebody sent me exercise one and two. Oh, uh, did you get it back from me? I tried to look for it and I couldn't. If not, please contact me so I can. Uh, I don't have to hold you right. So Bogi, what's the meaning of that? <coughs> Serpent. 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 And the case? And then singular accusative. Accusative singular. Perfect. I'll just write that here anyway. Yeah. So Marisi, the tense is? Present. 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 Past tense. Past tense. Yeah. What person? Third person. Third person. Third person. Singular. So you are completely sure the grammatical way of looking at the at different words and then the translation come easy. Evil doer. The evil doer. Killed the serpent with the stick. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Next one. So what are we supposed to write on these? If they get it right, just you, check. So you check, check it. Then <laughs> <laughs> they got it right. <laughs> Good start. Just follow your heart. Congratulations. Shall we move on? <coughs> then you have Mama Putta Settino Gami Vasis Santi. Thank you. 
You should probably tell people that anyway. So you'll get asked to fix their computer a lot less. So it's supposed to be for details. The art of writing or solving codes. Oh. That. Like Tasha, can you fix my computer with ransomware? <laughs> yes, I can. I wipe clean it. <laughs> Didn't know we had computer experts here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So you can design a program where I can write things that the government can't read, right? <laughs> Not dipped. No, not that good. So so read, government reads everything. Government seems to read everything. Mm -hmm. You're up against the NSA. <laughs> <laughs> So help him. Siki, what is the case? Singular. Yes, singular. Nominative singular. Chaktimha, what is the case? Yeah, this is from. From, yeah. Locative. Yeah, it is ablative. Ablative. Ablative of separation. Oh, yeah, yeah. Bias. 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 Future tense. Future tense, third person, yes. singular. You found good cavalry from somewhere. Um, you've been making, there's a local store, seems to have ramped up Sri Lankan food lately. Mm -hmm. Okay. Beer. Yeah. So, You've got peacock, possessor of an umbrella, by the will fear. And so the peacock is fearful of this person with an umbrella <laughs> yes. in the future. <laughs> okay, so the, pe the peacock will fear, fear away from the umbrella. That kind of meaning. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Fear the one who has the umbrella. Who said that? Good. <laughs> so he translates it also better. The people will fear the umbrella holder. Okay. So the I think it is there. If you know when it fans out, that could be considered. There is, well, yes. But Chatti Ma is all Mr. Oh, so that was the case. is someone who has the umbrella. That's Number 10. Sarathi Asse Gamamha Harisati. Who wants to do it? What's that friend? Did you say you I thought I heard you say your name. Yes, I did. I'll give it a shot. Okay. This could be good. This could be good. Sarati, what is the case? It's like Siki, right? Nominated. Nominated singular? Singular. Makes more sense. Well, that's a scary question. What's the case? A six. Something plural. Accusative plural. Gamam ha. Ablative singular. Harisati. Future tense, third singular. So, F third singular. So, I think that would make charioteer singular too, wouldn't it? Or the first word. Right. Yes. Horse. Okay. He is singular, mm -hmm. okay. and maybe single too. 
Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so how do we get the meat? This chariot. Chariot, yeah. So we will break down the words. Let's say horses. So we have a chariot, yeah. we have a ho we have horses. Gamamha, we have from village. Yeah, it won't make any sense in uh, English. English uh, you can carry horses. I was going to say, I want to see this. I want to see this. Yeah. 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 So just throw a couple over the shoulders and give it to baby horses. <laughs> 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 oh, we'll have to do it one at a time. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. 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 The yes. turtle will carry the horses. <laughs> yes, he got the mini. The charity will carry, I mean, will take, what's the word, like, will uh, the Leave company away, take away, away, take away will the company transport, transport, yeah, so, the, you can get the, so, the literal, literal meaning is different from what you are hearing. <laughs> lead, we have a lead over here, lead. Lead, lead, lead. Lead. Lead the horse out of the Lee is leading. <laughs> Corral. Well done. So that was. You cannot see it. The chariot here will carry the horses from the. Horses. Horses. Yeah. Did everyone get it correct? <laughs> if not, please tell me. My one didn't get get it right, so we know. Um, I had a few in the front. You had it. It was mine. It was here instead of front. Mm -hmm. From the village is correct. Uh, True, probably not. Through, it also makes sense though, right? It has to be through something. So, uh, that is forgiven. Unless you're on the edge of the village story. Okay, so that, is, that was the requirement for the mint, right? Or did, did I ask you to do all the ten? No, you said pick five. Pick five, so. Okay, but we'll do this. Anybody have all of them six or ten? Did anybody do? Yes, yeah, anybody have? I did all of them. Yeah. <laughs> the least words. But I don't know if some people picked from the next five also. Yeah. So yeah. let's do the rest. Tumhe Malihi Sasinam Oloke Sata. Second plus person plural. Second? Not third? No. Yes, yeah, 
Okay. If it is third, it should be he, she, it. So <coughs> this is no, you. Olo Kesata, also second person plural. Good. Malihi. Malihi is instrumental plural. <coughs> how, do, how do you get Mali? Is it E ending, right? It is E ending, so it's like Agi, like Agi declaration. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Sasina. How do we get Sasina? So Sasi. Does it have to be Sasina? Can it be Sasin? Two or four. Mm -hmm. So hey, Mali, Sasin. I think let's make it Sasin. What is this? What is Sasina? It can be Sasin. Moon. Yeah. It is Moon. Sasina may mean like 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 you say two or four. 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 Well, it has it listed under accusative also. Mm -hmm. yeah, it can be accusative singular. It is yeah. accusative, yeah, it can be accusative singular. It's an alternate for accusative singular. Okay, so the moon. Just the moon, accusative singular. Yeah. But do we have a form like that, Sassina? Um, I doubt. Say there's a word like that. <coughs> oh, there it is. Vinayanaha Janamansa Kumudakara Sasina. See, see, it's in this book. It came up from that book. Okay, help Francesca now to make me. This is so let's get words. I'll look at the words, words, words already. But are these words correct? Yeah. Yes. 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 You okay. don't have a garland. You will look, you will look for the one who has a garland of the moon. That's not right. No. no you, 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 you with, with somebody. So you will look at the moon. Ma Malihi is instrumental. So. Yes. So it's with, who has yes. Talking about. Uh, How do you get with here then? Sort of because it's instrumental. It is instrumental and it implies that way, Francesca. Now you see, that's, that's how they got instrumental in there. That's how they got with the with the instrumental. You will look at the moon with those who have garlands. With one who has garlands. Yeah. Mm, more than one could be. More than one once. One, more than one garland? Yeah. More, than more than one, one person. person. So it's plural. Mm -hmm. okay. You will look at the moon with those who have garlands. Yes. Uh, oh, plural? Now you got me thinking about that. Thing. Yes. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's we'll why I skipped this one. Yeah. <laughs> wow. It didn't make sense. <sighs> <laughs> those who have garlands. Yeah. Flowers. Is that a convention? You will. Well, wouldn't those who have garland already be yes. plural? Like garlands means those people have multiple garlands. Yes. Oh, wow. So then the S doesn't need to be on garlands. Those no, it, it does, because if you say those who have a garland, then they all share one garland. Like one maybe. It didn't garland. make any sense to me. I would say okay, they have each have garlands. Garlands. Yes. 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 So yeah. it's mala ihi, it becomes malihi. Mala then is plural. Mala is mala is mala is plural uh, garland. So you have mala have is many garlands. <laughs> Mali is also plural. But Mali is singular. Mali is plural. Mali is singular. Mali, Mali, Mali. I mean, Mali is plural. Yes. Could you 
use like uh, uh, those wearing garlands or those adorned with garlands. <laughs> those bad guys. You can't you you don't have this yeah. to have, right? I don't know that if the meaning of the next sentence makes any sense. So I thought I don't know. I I Anybody? Bali. Dati. Are you with it? Okay. <laughs> you don't get tired standing here. Bali, what's the case? Singular, no matter singular. No matter singular. Dati no? Genitive singular. Kaya accusative singular. Chindisati third future. Future third. So the powerful, powerful person. Yeah, Bali means the powerful person. That you know means of the tasker. Of the tasker. Of the tasker. Of the elephant. Kaya, the body. That's why I said this sentence doesn't make any sense. <laughs> we'll cut or we'll break. It's like breaking something. The powerful person will break. See, I thought it was like somebody who hunted a the body of the tusker. Yeah. You've seen tusks of the elephant? Yeah. So, uh, yeah. See, I thought it was somebody who hunted the ivory off the elephants. But. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because when the elephant is alive, you know, they are very powerful. Thank you. Well done. For carrying the tooth relic of the Buddha, they take a tusker from a certain clan. So any tusker cannot you know, be that tusker. So it has to be from a royal clan of tuskers. Tusker is the... Yeah, they are. The male elephant. I think anyone with Tusk? I think so. Uh, yeah. There's an English term I just heard the other day, a white elephant. It means like you're... You know, oh, Tusk is an alcohol brand. <laughs> 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 these guys <laughs> So these guys are very, very powerful. Look at that. Look at these. How do they eat? <laughs> they have the trunk. Oh, trunk. Oh, yeah. Haven't you been to the zoo? <laughs> <laughs> Long time ago, I forgot about that. <laughs> <laughs> they grab grass with their trunk. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we think of the trunk, it's, it's almost like another. It's, it's almost like an arm. Yeah. Almost like the other one. I had a, I had a, the world's largest terrestrial elephant on one of my juries one time. 
I said they can manuscript in the very existence of the species. They kill them for those uh, tasks because they are ornamental. <coughs> Wealthy people like to keep them in home. So ivory is a big problem in, this, in the world. See, they make statues out of those. Scientists explain the crucial role supertaskers have in elephant genetics. And we meet some of the legends. We've been looking for them all day, and the Silo came to us. Gentle Isilo. Aggressive Crane. The Ashenji then blows to them. Elusive Camboyo. Secretive One Ton. And formidable we see the knife edge of real human-animal conflict. And we try to help. We are going into the sixth extinction because of us. What a legacy. We haven't even learned their language. And we kill them. last of the big tuskers. So, well, Sri Lanka has them. So the Indian elephants are tuskers too? Yes. Not all the elephants are tuskers. Yeah, not all the elephants are tuskers. They have a particular clan. <laughs> so, in order to break them, you have to be a very strong man. <laughs> When there were kings at, in those days, king will ask, make, send a message out to the village uh, when the king needs elephants for the war and those people will get a lot of uh, uh, rewards if they catch a good elephant and then tame it and then bring it to the, to the royal palace. So there were elephant hunters those days for that reason. And then in Jataka stories, in birth stories, you find uh, some, some elephants uh, being caught like that from beautiful places in the forest. Uh, but some of these elephants were treating their blind mother, blind mother elephant. Um, so they had such a bond, they didn't want to leave. So when they were taken to the palace, they, they refused to eat. <coughs> the story tells that they had to somehow uh, communicate in a way that humans understood there's a reason why he was not eating. So they go back to find out that there is this blind mother being, you know, being left out. And then they have to either take them to the palace or then leave the sun uh, so that the sun does what the sun's, you know, the duties of the sun. So you can, you can read these things in Jataka stories and then you might wonder how elephants communicated with humans. Well, humans were very close to animals uh, those days than now. We only see animals in the zoo. Um, and But we now don't like to see animals in the zoo because they are basically trapped. So people stop visiting those places and paying for those zoos. But children need to see. Uh, but then safari places are popular um, in Sri Lanka or in Africa. So that's one way to see them. But also elephants are now used to eating human food. So in Sri Lankan shops you find uh, so them coming near the shop and staying outside the fence waiting for people to buy 
fruits from the store and then feeding them. So they try to depend on uh, humans. <coughs> I saw that last time when I was in Sri Lanka. It's very dangerous to get closer to them because if they feel threatened, they can break that fence. There are electric fence, fences and uh, may even attack you. Because they have elephant-like memory, they are elephants. So they, their memory is good, they remember. For 60, 70 years, they remember what you did to them, so don't go closer to them. There's all kinds of metaphors too, like the elephant footprint, yeah. like the largest footprint, and the me death meditation or death contemplation is the, the highest, or well, meditation one, and then like training. Uh, What's the connection to the death meditation? Oh, the, the, like uh, all the, all the, oh, is, isn't all the footprints in the jungle, the elephant footprint is the largest. Yeah. So the, uh, of all the meditations, the most profound one is. Dead uh, meditation? Yeah. Uh, one song. Oh, that. Remember that. I don't remember where that's from. But. It's, uh, it's from the, uh, from the elephant footprint sutra. Uh -huh. Maybe. I have to find out. Then the other but I know there is a sutra called Elephant Footprint. Hatti Pada Upa Padopama Sutra. The other Next, one, uh, training with the chaining an elephant to a pole is yeah. like in the meditation, right? The, the, I forget which one corresponds to mindfulness, and then um, another thing corresponds to the chain, and then another thing corresponds to the pole, or the cuff, the chain, and the pole for training. Yeah, uh, those are also found in sutras because they were very, you know. The Buddha, from, because he was from royal palace, he knew these things very well. He knew these people closely, so he would talk about them because he knew, had the knowledge about them. Next one. Amhakan Mantino Balino Abhavinsu. Is it the time to break, though? That is up to you, sir. Yes, let's take a break. 9.15? Yeah. So uh, Linda will be doing this. Someone says mesmerizing for that. Enchanting. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, it's good. This is a, a singer. Singular? Oh, no, no. I said singular. singular. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was plural, but. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is plural. <laughs> oh, okay. I thought you were already correcting me. Okay, I messed up. <laughs> Then you should say, no, it is Laura. <laughs> oh no, you're the teacher, so <laughs> okay. Mali no, what is what uh, so it is uh, it's going to be plural again. Mm -hmm. I think it's accusative plural. Accusative plural. Yes. Third future. Third future. Third future. Third future. Yes, that's what I was thinking. Toshita, can I ask you something? Can you empty this and bring this back so I can you know, keep this warm? Maybe you put, put the two in here. Put this in there. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Did everyone get these sentences correct? You get 100% for your midterm. Mm -hmm. I skipped that one. I couldn't get that one. That's it's okay. Those garlands, That's you know. <laughs> <laughs> I got the it's it's oh, all these sentences. Very <coughs> good. Yes. Yes. That's the only one I got wrong. Is I missed the S on garland. So far. Mm -hmm. But you, you wrote it you wrote you wrote to me again about that, did you? Mm -hmm. No. I mean I can real quick if it helps. <laughs> 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 
Flexible. No, some people found errors after they submitted and they brought that to me. As soon as you understand it, that's, that's what we, that's the purpose. But I did all of them, so if you want, you can find which yes. five I did yes. correctly and just create those. <laughs> that's what I'm looking for. <laughs> <laughs> Millionaires will see ones who have garlands. Garlands. Okay, gotcha. See the ones who have garlands. What about if my person put, see ones who have a garland? Is that still doing? That's kind of still accurate. So. <laughs> <laughs> Should, I Should I still give that person a... It's cute, the way she... I'm going to be more giving. Okay, who, I, who, who's on her side of that? I'm going to be more giving. I'm going to be more giving for this person. So, okay. Because uh, everything uh, else has been perfect. In my handwritten notes, I have it as plural, but when I typed it out, those who have oh, garland example. sounded plural to me. Like yeah. those is encompassing more than one person. Yes. I didn't think to put an S. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would say just ones who have garland. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Person with garland. Everyone has. Okay. Yeah, I'm just taking yeah. it as correct either way. <laughs> 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 Next. Next. <laughs> Are there a lot of ceremonial garlands? Is, is that yes. how we're seeing this? Yeah. You know garlands, right? You know, the longer. Go to Hawaii. Oh, there are also, don't Tibetans do a, it's, it's, like a, long, it's, it's, a, it's sort of a scarf. Don't they do it like a, it's another garland? It's too? different from a mala, right? Oh, that's a mala. These are garlands. Oh, okay. yeah. These ones. Okay. Yeah. Big long flowers. Yeah, it's Four fingers. <laughs> so this is so she's putting a garland. Oh, that. That's, and you see, that's the goddess. <coughs> yeah. It's like a, what do they call it in Hawaii? <laughs> so in India, there's a thing called marrying a cow. So you put the the garland on the cow. So to avoid. The cow? No, 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 no. They don't bury. Oh, but to marry. Buried? To get married. Marrying. Matrimony. Marrying. In Kelvis and in Las Vegas. Marrying. Do you see this cow? The happy cow with garlands? Okay. So she's getting married to a dog here? Huh? <laughs> is there any, uh, this is to avoid her parents' proposal oh, to marry oh, someone she didn't like. Oh, oh. <laughs> so, okay. so uh, and and that's also suggested. So this cow, there may be other meanings, but then when that has been done, it's the responsibility of all the village boys to protect that woman. Now she's garlanded and to the cow and the duty of all the men is to protect her now from other women, other other men. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And what happens if she finds the right person? Does she divorce the cow? Yes, ritually divorce. <laughs> really? I mean, <laughs> Yes. Okay, so, or the dog, or yeah. whatever. Yeah, you're not my husband anymore. <laughs> okay, so then you can get divorced and then you get married. Okay, yes. okay. It's very, very simple ritualistic stuff. Because you know, see, see this. This man's Hong Kong is our. So, that's plural, right? 
Yes. Third person plural. Yes. So that would be Tanhaka. Power. Tanhaka. It's genitive. Tanhaka. That's genitive. Tanhaka is genitive. Genitive. Genitive plural. Genitive. Yes, genitive plural. Genitive first person plural. Genitive first person plural. Our. Our. So our. Yes. Yeah, in the book it says it's us, but in context it would be our. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was looking at this one and I found this one. <laughs> Do you want to see the chat, Francesca, so you understand? Or? I would like it. Yeah, so. <laughs> it's the genitive data, those are still not quite correct for me. Mm -hmm. Not quite that close. Then, then only we look at the context. Because I translated this, we became ministers of powerful people. Mm -hmm. So, so uh, Mantino is a uh, nom was it nominative plural? Yes. Yeah, nominative All right. plural. Somebody gave me the wrong answer. Nominative plural. <laughs> and then Bali so now, listening to the crowd. Bali now should be plural. Yeah. yeah. So what is it? Yeah, there's no um, it's just a using word. Well, we know it's that it's a is past tense. Oh, we can true. Yeah. Past tense. So, our ministers, Oh. You don't need the, uh, there's no there's no uh, We don't need right. off there. Powerful people no. they care very good. Our ministers became powerful people. Our ministers became powerful people. Okay. Our ministers became powerful people. The Taliban has probably Monday. Yeah. At the time that the Buddha was alive, do we have a congressperson yet? Yes. They are called Purohitas. Purohita oh, is what? someone who uh, who is in the Congress. I see. Advising the the king. The king. Yes. Purohita. It's like a counselor. Good job, Kaitasha. It's like a family. So this is Purohita basically as a, a there's a meaning in Indian Vedic context also. Well Manti, Manti is the minister. So Manti. It's a Buddha also. Purohita is the advisor, Manti is a uh, Manti meaning in Pali. Next sentence, please. <coughs> See? Do we do the translation to Pali now? Or? Yeah, we do. We got one more. We got one more. Mayam gehe odanam bunji sama. Who wants to write that and do this? Mr. Lee, want to do that? Not really. Not really. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Monk. Oh, you can try. Perfect. So. I'm going to have to have a lot of help, though. Yes, yes. The whole class is helping. Yeah. You can erase the whole thing. This one? The whole thing. So, take it away. Um, on that last one, a hobby I yeah. got from the back of the book, well, page 94, because I couldn't find it. I was struggling, which was, says was. Yes. Were. So I have, yes, our well. ministers were powerful so people, yes. not became. Either way. Okay. Became or were uh, give the same meaning to me. Okay. In that context. All right. Yeah. Thank you. So, Mayan. Mayan. Gehe. G E H E. Odana. O D A N A. N with the dot. Odana. Bhunji Sama. 
Yes, Bodhi is uh, very good. That part is done. So Maya cases. Nominative. Nominative uh, plural. Gehe, locative. Singular. Singular. Ordinan, accusative, singular. Bonjisan. Future. First person plural. So, Maya, me, we, 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 in the house. It's locative singular. In the house. All the man, rice. <coughs> I thought that was boiled rice. Yeah. Boiled rice, yes. Boiled. Boiled. Yeah. Yeah. You, when you get to the last word, it's pretty much implied. Yes. Boiled rice. Crunchy. It's really crunchy. I know rice. I know this too well. Mice, mouse. Bungee sound, but yeah, we'll, we'll eat. eat. Is the last we'll, one. we'll eat. This will be we'll eat. So we will. Eat. We will eat rice in the house. We can eat outside the house also. At the house. At the house. At the house. Yeah, at the house. So, so then leave. Quite easy when everybody's feeding the answers. Yeah. Yeah. No. Uh, so we are now into the translate into Pal. <coughs> we did the first five, didn't we? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. The charioteer will buy horses for the minister. Somebody? <coughs> Corey is doing that. The charioteer will buy horses for the minister. Uh, minister? <laughs> so in India, cows are so well respected. If they come and sleep in the house, they are treated like God because they are a vehicle for one of their deities. So if they like to sleep in the bed, okay, you all have it. Yeah. So here's a cow in the bed. Wow. <laughs> There's a Brahma bull uh, yeah. here, right? <laughs> it's a bull. <laughs> okay, so the chariot here, what's the case? Same Nominative? Yeah. Nominative singular. Will buy. Future. Future singular. Third. Third person. Horses. Nominative. Oh, Accusative. Accusative. Yeah. And. For the minister. Native. Native. Uh, it says you must use dative. Yeah. And singular. Native. Singular. So, charioteer, Pali, please. Sarve ki kinisati will die. Kinisati. 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 
process assay for the minister. Martino? No. Yes. Is it toe? I thought toe was general. Martino. So find the declension of Martino. Martino. It's the. Uh, Martino. Yeah, Martino. Okay. Martino. So then put the whole thing together. So if we do it in this break, in this uh, time slot before lunch, we can go to a lesson. So we learn imperative. Better. Next one. <laughs> Mr. Wang was Yeah. My peacock will live on the mountain. You have peacock? Uh, is Cherry a true spell property here? It's, it's Sarati. I have, yes. I have this. I, I have this. Sarati. It is the Sarati. So I, oh, I put an extra uh, in there. H-A. Oh, okay. So, is that no, that was, that was just me being clumsy up there. Is so. it form? Um, there's an extra uh, in there. Oh, that uh, in Pali, no. Yeah. No, H, I, H has to be on it. I put an extra A in there. Yeah. H, H, and A both. The, the top one is yes. correct. You're right. Top one. Yeah, ha, ha, ha has to be gone. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. yeah. okay. All right. All right. I guess this one is correct. Okay. Okay, yeah. All right, you got it. There. But you, you go and take this. I just yeah. I have yeah. it. I just care. Thank you. My peacocks will live on the mountain. Please write the sentence in English uh, to begin with. Beginner? Yeah, yes, clear too. Is it Mantino Asse or Asse Mantino? Could it be Sarati Mantino Asse or is it the other way around? It's this way. Okay. Little confusing the right. So my, what is the case? Genitive? Singular, peacocks, oh. also nominated, that's nominated singular. This is nominated? Yeah. Oh. Nominated, nominated. Plur nominated plural. Plural. Will live. Is a future. Future, third, plural. Third. On the mountain. Plural. Locative. Singular. Okay. It's the my my is Pali is a mama. Mama. Uh -huh. mama. Mama. Oh, I have here amhang. That's also correct. That's also okay. Amhang, I think, is in the amhang refers to our. Our oh, it says plural, so it's mama. Let me double check. Um, um, yes, mama. 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 My hand. Yeah, it's my hand. It has to be either mama or my hand. My hand. Leave is the bus. This one should not be proven. I think one has to answer that. See. Bus. Anti. Anti. Yeah. With an and can you all see the screen here for this is the declension of so you see mama in dative and genitive it can be one of these mama my hung me mama if it is unhung you are going to because you look at the plural in peacocks 
So you don't need uh, to do that. Yeah. I see. <coughs> so it's, it's your, it's my. It's then my. you say, Mama, my hand, me, Mama. So usually Mama uh, implies it well. Kirimi. 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 Mama Siki. Is it Sikino? Sikino or Sikino? Sikino. 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 Kiris means Santi. Yeah. So they are in the middle, so you have to put Vasis Santi also in above, above that. Yeah, and perfect. Well done. <coughs> Big round of applause for you for that. Thank you. Yes. Then so it, it cannot be Sikino? It can be Sikino. It can be. It can be. It's either this or that. Work. Okay, this or that. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> Next sentence. The serpents will bite the power of book. The serpents will bite the powerful. We will not do the all 15 because we need to also learn a little bit today um, and then do more lessons so you, you get a hand of it. Maybe we can stop from here and go to a lesson. No? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was an unfortunate. <laughs> So you are ready for a change. <laughs> okay, please help Linda here. Or is that accusative? The serpents. Um, no, 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 uh, accusative plural. Do you want to sing the plural or singular? That is singular. It should otherwise say powerful ones or something. Mm -hmm. Or powerful as. No. <laughs> <laughs> I ran the English by my daughter and she says that sounds plural. Thank you for being a boss. 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 Is bogey singular? How does it have to be bogey? Bogino. But Bo serpent, bogey is it, no? but serpent, but uh, I think it has to be, yeah. Bogino. 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 Bogino.
Bogi now? Bogi, Bogi. Lonely. It's, uh, it's Lonely. So it is Bogi. Lonely. It's Long yeah. So what do you call? Uh, well, we're showing that the crunch is the long. Do you think the surface also be Aki, Aha? It's like this, Aki. Here. <laughs> oh, it, it can be. Oh, we also have. Oh, you have aki, akeyo, bogi, bogeyo. I guess it is. Uh, let me check. Bogi can be uh, an e ending. Yeah, that's that's what I have. That's what I have. So then it is uh, it is differently conjugated. Uh, where do we get e endings? E ending is case. Yeah. So it could be either this or that. Bogino. Bogi yeah. or Bogino. But it's nominative. Yeah. Right. So it nominative plural. Plural can be either one. Okay. Yes. Bogino. <clears throat> Bogino. And then Bali could be. Baling. Long I. It could be the same. I. Yeah. Right. I. Yeah. It's the same conjugation. <laughs> Okay, is is Bali? Uh, it depends on you said singular or plural. Yeah. I think it is singular. Is it? We decided that that way. <laughs> okay. <laughs> is that okay? Yes. Bali. Well done, Lena. So let's connect them all. <laughs> now take a short break, please. Questions about the final? So here's the format. <coughs> um, the first one is vocabulary. I told you, I specifically said it will be from the numbers. And so I have picked, I have kind of misarranged the numbers because if I say 1 to 25 and then pick. So say acre for one, then you know what it is. So if I write num if I write the numerical character and then acre in front of it, you already know the that it is. It implies acre one. So it's disorganized. <coughs> so five will be the first one, or six will be the first one. It's just organized. Randomized. Randomized. Is that what you said? Yeah. yeah. And it'll be from the. Those 25. It'll be from those 25. So my purpose is for you learning 1 to 25 in numbers. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. Then, so that is mandatory. You have to do that. And then number 2 and 3 are English to Pali and Pali to English. 
again mandatory. Right? <coughs> then I have quoted from the first sermon of the Buddha and then I ask you to explain what it means. So I quote what the Buddha said. The Buddha says something like monks, I am, you know, this until I understood this in three three rounds and dual aspects, I didn't say I am enlightened in this world with Brahmas and all that. So I, I quote that from the Sutra and then I'll say at the end, explain. So if you know the meaning of it, you will explain it, right? And for <clears throat> another question I have, that translation we did, and then that's a passage, I ask you to translate that, mm -hmm. <clears throat> which you have already translated. Mm -hmm. so, I, so just don't come with memory, but maybe try to identify with words, so you, I know you have done a little bit more work on it. Right. Identify the words, so if you have the time, um, identify the words and maybe give the cases if you if you can. So you do your work with that book, with mm -hmm. that with that passage, mm -hmm. and then you do the translation. It's not just uh, your memory speaking there. It's just you doing the actual translation. Then I have added two more questions. One is uh, either or kind of a question, which is, I need you to write down the 12 links of dependent origination with Pali, or eightfold path with Pali. Bless you. Thank you. So with Pali. What was the second part of eightfold path? Eightfold path with Pali. So my purpose is for you to finally learn them, the, learn the list. Mm -hmm. for your own benefit. Yes. So you are not doing an actual exam, you are just learning this for your life. So think of it that way. Okay. So 12 lengths or a full path? Eight full path. Okay. And then I have given you a declension. It could be, <clears throat> I think it is an uh, ending nom uh, nom uh, not nominative, <laughs> masculine um, I think any uh, ending masculine noun to be declined. Mm -hmm. But the problem now, I'm, I'm facing this problem now. If you have the book, you have all those declensions in the book, so it's easy to cheat. So we have to make a decision quickly. Whether I should print some vocabulary for you so that you, know, you can avoid the book. Uh, I did tell you that I will give you, allow you to have the book, but for the declension question, um, I could do the, we could the number and the declension questions first. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Everyone put their books and phones away. Do the vocabulary, the numbers, and the declension, and then we maybe hand in that part of the. I think that's a good idea. So, <clears throat> then I will, I will organize the question paper that way. Okay. Any more questions? Can you explain? I, I'm seeing three and four as kind of the same. So, I, in section three, you said, what's the meaning of the translation? But I didn't know if it was the translation we looked at yesterday. Yes. The passage translation. Okay. So just know the meaning of the words and then also translate the same passage. Yes, yes. I wouldn't say that in the actual question paper, just translate into English is what you will see in the heading. Mm -hmm. But if you have worked on it, I will know that you have really done a little bit work on it. You are not bringing, you, you know the meaning already, right? And you can easily memorize it and come to the class. That's not what I expect. Mm -hmm. You see that, Lee? Yes. Good. Thank you. You're welcome. I want to make sure, is it 12 links of dependent origination with Pali uh, and, and a full path? Or, 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 or either or. Making sure it was I think path. you will find a full path easier than the 12 links. Okay. But mm -hmm. as long as you learn both, I will be happy. Mm -hmm. You don't have to do both, though, though for the exam. Any questions? <laughs> Any complaints?
comments, feedback. No, so good. So you don't have to cheat, really. You know, what's the meaning of that? You don't really need to cheat. You have a book, and uh, okay. So imperative. <coughs> For the exam, this lesson will be important because our, our, uh, we're doing exercise of weapon. Yeah, because we are picking some sentences from this. <coughs> I have randomly collect, selected them, so <laughs> that's. Uh, I said it's from uh, exercise eleven, right? Mm -hmm. So. Uh, Let me unplug this so I can look at the question paper secretly. <laughs> Do you see anything? to verify that it is from this uh, this one that I have taken. <laughs> Just in case, I didn't want to lie to you. <coughs> now, in Pali, we need to learn a case called optative or potential Mood. I thought it's a mood. Mood. No, actually, first we'll learn imperative. Okay, imperative and optative are what the, the ones that we are going to learn. Okay, shall we? Can you all read this for me? The imperative. The imperative mood is used to express what command prayer. This is called Panchami in Pali. Panchami, Panchami verbal case, okay? Panchami verbal case. Otherwise, Panchami means fifth in Pali and include the benedictive, that you wish something better for someone. Or you make a bad wish also for someone. May he, be, may he be punished by the king. So that's a bad wish. So, like you want to say, Bhav to Sattva Mangala, you know that? That is this case. Bless you. Yeah, like Bhav to Sattva Mangala, may good things happen to you. You say that when someone sneezes. <laughs> yes, yes. Like, bless you. <clears throat> So the root pacha is verbally declined like this, this way. Pacha tu, let him cook, or may you cook, may he cook. Pachantu, may they cook, or let them cook. May as well. Cook you. Cook you. <laughs> Shouldn't it be a comma? Otherwise, it's like, I'm going to cook you. <laughs> it's like Hansel and Gretel. <laughs> no, you need to put it in a full sentence. pachahi. <laughs> cook it thou. Means, you cook. Like, may you cook. And then, pachatha. You, plural, cook. Mm -hmm. Similar to what? Similar to? Person tense also. Person tense, plural. You want to compare. We need to find person tense. Somewhere, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We need to slow down here so you don't really get confused. 
This is past tense. No, oh, you're going for the no, uh, item number twelve, page eight in the book. Yeah. Oh, we have done so much. Yep. Here, yes, five chapter. Mm -hmm. You see? Yes. <coughs> if we can have them side by side, that will be nice. So let me open it in the. Course contents in another book. We have this book. Oops, did I close the other one? No, it should be another tab. Okay, let me open with another PDF. So, this. So, you have that, and then you said I can split the screen this way, and that way, and that way. <laughs> Oops. No, I didn't split it correctly. No, you only have one open right now. Okay. Close it. Did I do it? Hello, Carl. Go away. <clears throat> it goes to the other side. Yeah, you need to open up another book, though. Oh, I closed it? Mm -hmm. So I will open this with the PDF reader. Jumping from this format to put it to screen or something. Okay, I'm working on this. Yeah. Okay, very good. <laughs> so you have the first sentence on the left side, and then go find the imperative in this book. The same book. For different copies. Page 31. Okay. Oh, it doesn't have a chart. Yes, this is the one. Yeah. But can you read it though? No. Yeah, it's yeah. the same. Mm -hmm. It's the same. <coughs> So you compare the present tense. Mm -hmm. In the present tense, you have pachati, he cooks. But in the imperative, pachati. it's pachatu, may he cook, let him cook. Okay, so pachatu means may he cook. Any questions? Mm -hmm. Kyle, no? Okay. Pachanti is a present tense plural, and pachantu is a Imperative plural, may they cook. Mm -hmm. And here you get pachasi for present tense, second person with twang singular, but you don't get that here. You have pacha or pachahi, making a wish. Mm -hmm. Somebody walking in the roof, mm -hmm. on the roof. Mm -hmm. Pachata is similar to Pachata in present tense. May you, like in present tense, is it, it is just you cook. And here it is, cook you. <laughs> mm -hmm. Like, um, how do we, yeah, may you cook. Or let, I let him cook. May you cook well. May you cook well. I think it, I, I, I let you cook is different from uh, may you cook well. <coughs> I let you cook, I think you will say, yeah, it is the same thing, right? Mm -hmm. I let you cook. Pacheta. So the plural. Pachami, let me cook. So same as present tense. Mm -hmm. And pachama, same as present tense. 
let us go. Mm -hmm. yeah. And who to let it be? Piva to. Can you say that? Piva to. Piva to. Let him drink. Let him drink. Jaya to. Let him conquer. Jaya to. Jaya to. Rakha to. Rakha to. Let him protect. Tape to. Let him keep. Tape to. Bhava to. Bhava to. Let it be. Gacha to. Gacha to. Let him go. Pakhipa to. Let him put in. And Bhasatu. Bhasatu. Let him say. And I need to find something else for your knowledge. So it's also a verbal thing, it's an it's called infinitive. Let's see if it shows up. See? The infinitive. Let's read this part. It's before the exercise 14. So we keep this on the side and see whether you get both correctly without a confusion. These are called infinitives and you see the ending of these verbs has ung, not like tu. It has ung, pachitung, means to cook. Pevitung means to drink. So it's always with to. The preposition to. <clears throat> Bhotung, bhotung or bhunjitung to eat. Ladhung or labhitung to get. Let's read together. Datung to give. To give. Patum to, to drink. Gantum to, to go. Khatum to, to do. Haritum to, to carry. Aharitum to, to bring. So read this part again, what is below? Tung is simply added to the roots of one syllable to form the infinitive. An extra E is added before Tung in the case of the base, basis consisting of more than one syllable. I will write that on the board so um, you can work the, on the image. And in the beginning it says the sign of the infinitive is Tung. So when you want to say something infinitively, uh, it is, what is the infinitive though? <laughs> like in order to drink, you need to get a glass. Okay, so, okay, so to it's a grammar question. A chance to drink. <clears throat> See, this. To get ready. <laughs> yeah, to get ready, to sneeze, to smash, to cry, to sh shriek, to jump, to to dunk, to read. To be prepared. To be prepared. And then on the side it says infinitive is a grammatical term referring to certain verb forms existing in many languages, most often used as non finite verbs. Uh, so non-finite verbs. So, cut. So finite verbs and yeah, you can go on with that. Finite verbs, as with many linguistic concepts, there is not a single definition applicable to all languages. So. Then I have to explain what is finite and what is not finite. <laughs> Something simple, please. 
This posted something in the chat. <coughs> sounds a little more simple to me. Once again? Oh, if you go to Slack, I put something in the chat that seems more simple to me. Thank you. That's what I wanted. <coughs> Group work, teamwork. I see the chanting and then... <coughs> Okay, so this. Infinitive, the basic form of a verb. Very good. Without an infle inflection binding to a, it to a particular subject or tense. Example, see in... We came to see. Let him see. So... Do you understand? Let him see this is imperative, not infinitive. Hmm. Remember we see... Oh, that's here? right, that's right. I, I think... To see. Yes. They can be similar? Without a question, they can be similar, you know, in the meaning also. And in the context, you will have to understand where uh, it, it, they implied infinitive, where they implied imperative. Uh, so. Infinitive is used when, let's just say that there is a statement, something like uh, to go yeah. slowly or to be or not to be. Yeah. That's the infinitive. Yes. But let us pray, that is imperative. Imperative. Yeah. Um, but here, because let him see is used, uh, that's why you are thinking that way. So let's forget that part, the example part. That, that is the part comes with. So the infinitive, I just only want you to learn this part. Right. The basic form of the mm -hmm. verb is infinitive. Okay. 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 Sherry, are you clear on that? Good. I remember it as a finite verb has been restricted to a specific case, so it's limited to just like I or me, that's why it's finite. It has limits placed on it to specific uh, usage or case and everything. Well, the the non-finite verb is not restricted by all those things, so it's the, the general. It's a general, like yeah. cut. Mm -hmm. It has not been inflected or changed. It has not been inflected or changed. And I try to remember examples for that, so the whole group understands. I don't think we are all on the same page as yet. It's kind That's of why I was looking for examples, um, finite and infinite. I've always had troubles with this. I don't know if it's the proper term or not. It's like the base form of the verb. Mm -hmm. Is that, I don't know if that's, you would use base or stem or root of yeah, the verb. Yeah, it's the verb unchanged. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, like the basic like, form of the just verb. look by itself. Well, yeah. Mm -hmm. It is. Yeah. Like, C is what you would use with the um, non finite, the infinitive. Um, saw, seen, all those other things are limited to specific usages. So those exactly. Are not. Perfect example. Mm -hmm. Those are not the C is non finite. Mm -hmm. And so is already finite. It has been already assigned to something. Like a go. Now you see the difference? Go. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Sherry. That's the end of our lives. <laughs> yeah. She's available for homeschool. <laughs> <laughs> I want to give you, uh, so, okay, here we have examples. We'll be working on examples. Uh, so, okay, but first we need to also work on examples on, a, on our imperative. So let me get... <coughs> Two examples. See, 
వనితాయో నావాహి గంగాయం గచ్చంతు గుడ్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ వీ కెన్ వర్క్
that chant to let something go. So that's how we get this meaning. Let the ladies go in ships on the river. Then second is feminine. Uh, this one, feminine okay. instrumental uh, program. Instagram. Not Instagram program. <laughs> <laughs> Any questions on that? We'll do one more exercise, one more uh, sentence. I will put, uh, because they are mixed with objective also, I will put something else. Devata Vasudhayan Manusse Rakhantu. Yeah, we'll do that. Number six here. Find <coughs> cases, please.
So, so can in in Bali can the on earth after the manusa? Yes. So, uh, so the, so so there is no rigid rule on that. Rule on the location of those. No. Okay. Um, so you could say Devata Manuse Vasu Deyong? Well, I think there is a rigid rule on that. <laughs> you will have to say uh, deities. So, because who has been protected, I think they too go close closely. But ah, okay. so ah, who has been I protected okay. go closely. And then whatever is before that, the location is implied before, say as placed okay. before. Okay. Yeah. Is there a case on the, the uh, feminine singular for on the earth? Is there like, is that a, um, are we missing like a... Locative? Lock, yeah, locative. Okay. Yes, locative. Mm -hmm. Do you want to look at feminine declension one time so you know what it is like? Yeah, I, I, I saw it. This. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. This. It's 34. It's 44 on the, the period with Chinese yeah. characters. I, yeah, I, I think 34. Oh yeah, there is more before that. Mm -hmm. uh, this 31. one. 34, yes. Mm -hmm. Here is a uh, Vanita being declined. Vanita is means woman. So all the nouns, there are no nouns ending in a uh, short er uh, in feminine. So it's usually long er. Uh, so ah, uh, but ladies like long, you know ah. Uh. <laughs> Nominative to vocative, please. Vanita, Vanita, Vanita yo. Vanitang, Vanita, Vanita yo. Vanitaya, Vanitahi, Vanitahi. Vanitaya, Vanitanan. Then Vanitayang, Vanitaya, Vanitasu. Vanite, Vanita, Vanitayo. And then similarly you find Kanya means girl, Ganga means river, Nava is ship, Amma mother, Disa direction, Sena army, multitude, Sala hall, Bhariya wife, Vasudha earth, Vacha word, Sabha, like a, as a, not society, I mean a council, like a, a Buddhist society, for example. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah? Can you zoom in a little bit? Which one? Uh, left side. <laughs> for you, the one on your left. Yeah. It's also left. the one on our left. Yeah. They can't see it, although it's the same. Make a little nice trip. Yeah. yeah. Well, well, there you go. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Thank you. I was having fun alone. <laughs> <laughs> okay, please, let's say, say it again. <clears throat> you all were like, what is he reading? <laughs> Kanya, Ganga, Nava, Amma, Disa, Sena, Sala, Sala, Bhariya, Bhariya Vasudha, Vasudha, Vacha, Vacha Sabha, Sabha, Darika, Darika Lata, Lata, Katha, Katha Panya, Panya, Panya is feminine, is wisdom. Valava, Valava, Maya, Lanka, Lanka. Uh, country, Sri Lanka. Pipasa, Pipasa. Kuda, Kuda. 
Nidda Puja Parisa Eva Jibha Nasa Jangha Guha Chaya Tula Sila Valuka Manjusa Mala Sura Visikha Sakha Sakara Gravel Devata Deity Dola Oh sorry Dola 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 Godha Huh? It's a pollen queen. Pollen queen, yes. Uh, it's a clown. Yeah. Have you seen one? A pollen queen? Yeah. Carrie Lampcatra will be. Oh, okay. I gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> so the kings, uh, they didn't have vehicles those days, they had strong men who carried them to places. He just sat there. Uh, <laughs> but then we get to YouTube. <laughs> Carrying it. <laughs> Have you seen this? Hard mess up. It's a wedding day. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. So yeah, you sneeze. <laughs> <come in. laughs> If it was a king, all those men would be beheaded. At that bad, yes. You would be able to protect the other Yes. She would if they carried a king, some some hands would awesome. chop off. Right? Yeah. Yeah. What is that? Oh, it is oh. there. That's Thanks. another Pelican Queen. Yes. <laughs> And those men there. We're not a sick man, but they love the free kids. What are they doing? They're blaming her? <laughs> you gotta sit still in there. We're not a sick man, but we're not a sick man. She's so asleep, I think. One of the four, because there's drumming when the thing goes. <laughs> And one of those men may be like, may get to the dancing mode, and then. You <laughs> 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 need a seatbelt. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Airbags. Yes. And some bungee cord straps. The, the seat needs a seatbelt. Yeah. Strap it down. Strap it down. So that's our commercial. Oh, good. Okay. <laughs> Comic <Comment laughs> <comment laughs> <laughs> So we did the Yeah. I <laughs> But before we do other exercises, we need to do the the optative mode also. But I, I like this this uh, this book better. A quick question yeah. about the last sentence on the board. Uh, may deities protect the people? Is may deities protect? Is may de may protect? Is that a split infinitive, Sherry? Yeah, it would be. You know, a split yeah. infinitive. What, yeah. what is that? But I mean, it's it would be common usage, even though it's split. Mm -hmm. Right, right. But it, may humans be protected by deities? Yes. And mm -hmm. well, the oh, two is may wait. protect. 
and then you've got deities that comes in between the word may and protect. Mm -hmm. She's an editor, so Split. she's saying it's not quite correct, but that is how most people would say it. Mm -hmm. This is how, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Would you more correct to keep the may and the protect together? Deities may you don't protect see the, the people. You see the imperative here, you don't see the infinitive here. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah, I had an English teacher who was upset about the Star Trek movie. To <laughs> <laughs> boldly go is not correct. It's the, yeah. It's to go boldly. To go boldly. This is yeah. how more people would say it. Yeah. 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 So in a textbook <clears throat> that might not be considered correct, but yeah. if for usage, if you said it the really correct way, most people would hear that and say, that sounds funny. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So they would think it is sound better. And it would be David's may protect the people. Yeah. See, that's the way I would have translated it. Yes. Mm -hmm. Instead of may deities protect. Use your freedom when you translate and uh, editing skills. I wouldn't, I will still find it uh, well translated. I think it depends on the context too. Um, what comes before and after. Yes, you know, it depends on the context. Right, right. 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 Yeah. Yeah. So exactly. This is yes. more sensible to most people. Mm -hmm. yes. Francesca, it is. Francesca, like remember on yeah. the Meta Sutta? May I be happy? Mm -hmm. Not may be I happy. <laughs> See, may deity protect. May I be happy? May we be so? Yeah. It, it's just this particular sentence. Ah. Yeah. Yes, we will have to do another sentence, but I think because the exercise is combined with optative and or potential as well, we need to do that before we go on to the next uh, next level. So let me minimize this, have this on full screen, so you can read it better. <coughs> so so now you, you, we were here, right? We discussed the imperative, Pacha to let him cook. And we are now jumping over to the next level, which is this. The Panchami is the fifth case, and here in verbal cases you have Saptami, which is the seventh verbal case, which is called, in English called the potential mood. Optative or potential. Optative may imply like it is optional. Okay? Like if this happens, something happens. That, that's where we are headed. <clears throat> the, opt, the potential mood called Sattani in Pali expresses probability, command, again wish, prayer, hope, advice, and capability. <clears throat> it is used in conditional or hypothetical sentences. So it can be conditional or hypothetical in which one statement depends upon another. Verbs containing auxiliary parts like may, might, can, could, should and would are included in this mode. So we are getting to auxiliary mode. I always put this mode. So pacheya, if he would cook. Te pacheyum, if they would cook. Twam pacheyasi, if thou wouldst cook. Tumhe pacheyate, if you would cook. Aham pacheyami, if I would cook. Mayam pacheyama, if we would cook. <coughs> the following are conjugated similarly. Bunjaya, say it please. Bunjaya. Nahayaya. Nahayaya. Katheya. Katheya. Ahareya. Ahareya. Tapeya. Tapeya. Bhaveya. Bhaveya. So if he eats, if he bathes, baths or bathes? Bathes. So bathes. Yeah. Always in Sri Lanka we say bathroom and after coming here we have to say bathroom. <laughs> See the <laughs> difference? <laughs> yeah. If he says apeya, if he brings ahareya, if he keeps tapeya, if he becomes bhaveya, if he would be. <clears throat> and then this is, this. Be, please learn this also. Equivalence to if are sache, 
Not sake, okay? Sake is a liquor you drink in Japan. <laughs> sache, yadi, and che. So if you say, see, sache, it means if. If you see yadi, it means if. If you see che, it means if. But che should not be used at the beginning of a sentence. Okay? Like che guerra. <laughs> well, we have a catcher on the Cardinals called, they call him Yadi. Magadi? Yeah, yeah. Yadi Arbolina? Yeah. Is it the same spell? I don't think so, is it? I don't know. Yeah, is yeah, it? Yeah. 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 I didn't get you. It's, it's a nickname, Yachty Air. He's a whole, baseball player. Yeah, he's a baseball oh. player. Catcher. Yeah. He's, uh, he's, he speaks Pali, but he's from Puerto Rico. <laughs> <laughs> well, they are. He speaks Pali. <laughs> yes, close, because Pali is a Indo Aryan language, so Indo European. Mm -hmm. So Spanish and you know, Pali, all in Italian, they have similar uh, cases and rules. Yeah. Yes. The ends and vowels in Pali had like Italian. That's why now we can go to exercise and look at exercises. Uh, let's see this one. Sanche tumhe nahai sata ahampi nahai sami. Which means if you take a bath, I will also take a bath. <laughs> Unless you know you have that close relationship. <laughs> Let's translate that. So that's called optative mode. It's very much conditional. Maybe the water is so cold and you try to convince your brain, if you take a bath, I will also do that. <laughs> Sache Tumhe Naha is the tap. Ahampi, aham, so you can write it this way separately, otherwise you can also, or else you can say ahampi, combine, naha isan, so sache means if, if. Now you, it's easy. Tumhe, you, you singular plural. Singular. I think it's plural. Because I can see from the world. It's a bath party. Yeah. It's a bath party. If you're going to the bathhouse. Yeah, it could be. So it's if you all take a bath. It's those Russian. Uh, yeah, it's like nonsense. Bad parties? Is that the house? 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 Is that the uh, first person, no, second person, sorry. Second person, plural, and future. Will bat. Will bat. Will bat. 
I also. So P is important. Now P, this is P. So this is first person, singular, future tense. Well, wait. So, if you, if you all, if you all take a bath, take, take a bath, I will also take a bath. That's all. Uh, if you if you bathe, I'll bathe. Mm -hmm. If yeah. you bathe, I'll bathe. Mm -hmm. Yeah. When you say that, there can be more people in front of you, then it implies to all of them. Just like me saying, if you bathe, I'll bathe. Mm -hmm. So, so number three here. If it is written, the first part, it is uh, written on uh, on the potential mood. How will it be written? Oh. Because this one is potential using That's the That's a good word. question. Let's right. work on that. So it should be would be, right? If. Uh, I would also. I will also. I would also. I would also. I would also. I would also. Oh, also. not imperative, but potential? Potential. Oh, okay. I thought it's imperative. We can also put this into imperative. Mm -hmm. um, potential would be. Uh, this potential is the same. There's no. It is already conditional. So you don't have any other alternative for this. If you take a bath, I would take a bath. Yeah. Yeah, implying me, right? Because the potential is. Uh, I think you'll have to you'll have to work on uh, but you know something that so let me see uh, if you if you would take a bath, I would take a bath also. Yeah. It's also future. So it, it's like this. The twentieth sentence answers your question. If you would bring the what's the valorang the the mayor, mm -hmm. if you would bring the mayor, I will buy it. Does that answer your question? Let's write that on the book. <coughs> the 20th. Sache Tuang Walawang. Can you verify whether Valava refers to Maya? Kineya, see? It does. Okay, good. Ahang. It's also accusative singular. So such a means if 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 
Swang Yu Yu Walavang Mayak Kine Yasi There's a mistake in the green book Oh um, what is it? On 20, Tuang is spelled T H A. That's wrong. Yeah. Uh, that's in a different book. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah, the green one. It's in the written yeah. book, not the PDF. Yeah. Our PDF, um, this PDF is correct. Maybe the other PDF is not, if you want to check. Oh, yeah, just. Go ahead and just. Uh, it's like you found it. Yeah, that's wrong here too. Hmm. V and H are close on the keyboard. They probably just have to go. Yeah, that may have happened. They need an editor. <laughs> <laughs> they need an editor. Can you hear me? Bye. I Kinisami will buy the horse. So does this answer your question, Mr. Say if we if we if we translate it as if you would buy the mayor. I would buy the horse. It doesn't make any sense though. No. No. They're talking about two different horses. Yes. Yeah, so different horses. yeah, it's kind of like you bring up somebody along to buy something. Right. Like you, you buy one and I'll buy the yeah, other. Yeah. You buy that horse, I'll buy this horse. Yeah. But one just has to be a female. Right. Yeah. So it is not potential. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. The potential is on if. We're both going to get horses. Yeah. Yeah. It depends on if, so it's potential, right? Yeah. yeah, if is the potential. <clears throat> so, that's what you wanted. That's pretty strange. That's just because you don't buy horses. Shall we stop at 11.30 for lunch or 11.45 for lunch? Aren't we stopping at 4.15 today? Yes. That's why we went long yesterday. Yes. Potential. 11.30 is when we normally break, but... Yeah. We went up to 11. I think this is about 4. Is it? It's close. Okay. We're good. We got 10 minutes in it. Okay. I forgot a copy of yesterday's off. So. Oh. <clears throat> so, uh. No. Jeff was missing too. So. I'm not the only person. Never like four. In exercise 11, you are dealing with feminine nouns, future tense. Optative mode and potential mode. That's a lot. So do work on them at home mm -hmm. to learn and then if you have questions send them my way and I will respond. Uh, with the limited time we will try to do, uh, we will try to let the woman go along. Oh, that's that, no, not that. We utter words with our tongues.
<laughs> I hope so. That's one way to. What the other way is. Exactly. <laughs> Why are the sentences all so <coughs> unrealistic? So, <laughs> yes, it's just they are they are trying to teach you the language, but with odd sentences. So. Yeah, because I'm guessing like the sutras and stuff don't really have normally this simple like here's the well, why don't you look back and just and no, sutras don't yeah. have it. How flew over the moon? Yeah. No, wait, no, that's not realistic yes. at all. I saw the finger on Google's. Yeah. Could you please explain the name of the... Yes. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yes, please. Well, 13 makes sense. Do not drink liquor with girls and boys. That's right. Oh, so. <laughs> That's right. Uh, yeah, yeah, that is yeah, yeah, the experience. Yeah, yeah, just drink along. Well, if they're in the liquor, Finger. Finger. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 Finger garlanded man. So is Pali I mean I know it's a dead language, but No, is, is it's a it, classical language. So, so can people actually careful. speak it? Like could you have two people and they're just like, this is what I'm doing today. Okay. Uh, what are you doing today? Here's a monk speaking Pali, YouTube again. Cool. Kyle, before the end of this class, you'll be speaking. I've heard stories of two different months sure. different countries that didn't know the language. They would, they would make the this is my professor, my PhD uh, thesis advisor. ปาริสาหิจัสสจวิเสปตันติเวติตัปปะวิเสสวาเสเนปาริภาษาคุริปตารมีเวมาคติติปิวุจติมาคติสังขาตาปาริณามีสาภาษาอัมมากังสิริล
His name is Venerable Professor Nabiritang Kadavara Jnana Ratana Theru. I went to see him in about this class in Sri Lanka. Said uh, I wanted to do exams without uh, having any people from there, but he said it's a policy that someone from there has to come to monitor if it is done properly. Mm -hmm. So that makes sense. Uh, but we were able to cut down the number of people that you know. So we are here; we can manage it uh, on our own. It's nice he he will be coming. <clears throat> so he also speaks in Pali. His expert expert language. He did his PhD in Prakrit. Prakrit, <laughs> also a similar language like Pali. Mm -hmm. This has been my professor. His uh, his handwriting is very nice. I still remember. So they are all teaching in University of Kalani. This has been my professor. This is Nyan Ratna. Remember Nyan. Anyway, uh, we get carried away into YouTube easily. Good. We but, tea with the guy from it. Yeah, I remember it. Yeah. So let's do work on another sentence. Let's work on this one. If you will cook rice, I will give food to the woman. I saw a video of Venerable Nyanratana speaking Pali, but I can't find it in YouTube. I saw it in Facebook. If you will cook rice, I will give food. And if you don't, what happens? <laughs> no food. So. Sachi. Rice or the nun. Or the nun. So will uh, if if you will cook pacheya, cook pacheti, and aya is added pacheya. So sachetwang odanam pacheya. I will give food to the woman. I will ahang to the woman. Vanitaaya. I will give Deni. No, that is Sami. Because it's future, right? That is Sami. Yeah. Oh, Pachei. Yes, Pachei. Pachei would be he. Yes, that's right. Pachei Yasi. Thank you for catching that. Because it's you, right? So if. Sachetwang Udana Pachayasi Ahang Vanitaya Food Aharam Dade Dade Yam Dade Yam Not Dade San Because they are both taking the same rhetoric Dade Yam It's also Dade Yasi of Dade What you had today, is that also correct? It is also correct if you look at Aigu uh -huh. Uh -huh. One in Thai, oh, that's pretty. Aharan. The day Now you must be wondering how did he get all these words? Um, because for you, you need a need little bit more time to uh, get there. So, uh, 
obviously patient. I was just concerned about the time, so that's why I did it so quickly. Um, but you had two options this afternoon. One is to work on this exercise 11 totally, so you have it. Instead of I throwing you at it at the, at the final exam, maybe we should do that. Or we can do, learn a new lesson, maybe combinations. Um, but we have another final, you know, another s month coming, so we may keep those for later, but we will work on this for now, right? Mm -hmm. I think it's better. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. All right, so, yes, that should be it.